Hello you big bad beetle buggers, Jim Sterling here and this is Lost in Nature Survival Simulation. This is on early access right now, cost you $14.99 and I'm going to click new and we'll see what this game's all about. So this is in early access right now, so you can see here difficulty coming soon, can't change the difficulty, we're stuck on normal. That's fine. We'll hit start. Please select a save slot. Oh right, yeah, okay, I see. Slot one. Sure. Bit of a weird little way of doing that, but oh my god, that boat's amazing. <laughs> is the I think the boat's meant to be moving, but because the background isn't, it, it looks like it's in place and it's got like little little wheels underneath it specifically for the churning of water. That's delightful. There's story going on underneath here with the text, but I've not really read it. Although we'll still be months on the road, I have already finished the letter for my love, Valentine. They're writing a letter on the boat that's going nowhere. Of course, th months on the road. You're in the water. I mean, I know on the road is just a general term for travel, but especially at a time when a boat like this would have been employed. Would they have used the term on the road? I don't think so. As you just said, on the ocean. There'd be many more months on the ocean. Or at sea would be another one. Text's still going on. The, the general story, I think, is they're going somewhere and they're in love. There's a cocky captain, Nathaniel Fitzwilliam. They're going to drive directly, th drive directly through the shallow waters. It, it, it sail, surely. The driving and the car metaphors should have no place here. Shouldn't be applicable. Oh well, it's uh, raining. Anyway, the weather changes in these despair quickly, as the text says. This has taken a quite a while for something that really isn't saying a lot. I'd have thought, since it's in early access, you could have really just dispensed with this and thrown us on the island. It doesn't look like, from what I've seen from looking at the store page, that story is going to be a particularly important part of this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine I mean, I'm with it. I'm, I respect that they are doing some narrative. Many of these games don't bother. But if the choice was cut straight to the gameplay or make me look at this ship doing nothing for ages with small text at the bottom I'd have I'd have gone with nothing but that's fine again I appreciate the effort there's a rock so that's something new and that was a That was a crash against the rock, told mostly through the medium of sound. And then we've just brought the water up. There we are to just cover the static ship that still hasn't really moved, save a twist in its angle. Look at that, that's quite stylist. Stylist? I meant to say stylistic. Well, I want to say stylish and stylistic at the same time. Really, I, I wanted to just say stylistic, because that looked quite... It was all sunless sea looking. <laughs> that was good looking at sunless sea, but... You know what I mean. Anyway, we're on the island. Oh my god, that blur, though. That's... That's some of the most amazing motion blur I've ever seen. Combined with the strobe-like effect of the lightning... Here we go, the, the blur seems to have calmed down now. Yeah, so it was just to begin with. Lightning still flashing a lot. Like I'm at a discotheque or something. Not, not ideal, but let's uh, see what we've got going on. We've got vitality, health, I guess. Hunger, thirst and sanity. You know me, I love survival games and they're many many meters nothing like gauges for hunger and thirst and everything 
Sanity's a new one. From what I tell, from what I've been able to tell, doing a little cursory research, the sanity is because you are isolated, so you've got to do things to deal with the isolation. Shells are a good protein supplier. Okay. Alright, I've, I've eaten that. Wine. There we are. Our thirst and our sanity. Tips up condition. And already they're, they're starting to slip. Quite considerably. I don't like games that do that. It, what it does is it turns it from basic survival into nannying coloured bars. That's my issue with it. I, I like the concept of survival meters. Okay. Alright. So you hold the mouse and then I'm just tapping E. And then I collect things. Look how quick that sanity meter's going down. Being alone on an island for five minutes won't cause your mental health to deteriorate that rapidly. Barring, of course, pre-existing conditions that have not been noted in this game. Well, we've already searched that one, sorry. Pay attention to the text at the bottom there. I mean, I've seen games with meters deplete quicker than this. I'll be perfectly fair in that regard. However, I do maintain that constantly stressing about where the next drink's coming from isn't my ideal way to play a game. Like, it's not like we're less than halfway towards dying of thirst already, but the speed with which that's going at the top there, it's the only thing I can think about right now. I could explore this... Well, not beautiful island, but I could explore this acceptable island and enjoy that for a bit. If you are wet, you have a sanity loss, except during day by good weather. Okay, so... So that's... the sanity, at least, is has gone back up. Apparently the rain makes this character lose their mind. Which is a shame. I love the rain. Big fan of it. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't want to be stood out here in it. Find maybe a nice cave or something to, to wait it out. But, such is the nature of a survival game. You've always got to constantly be on the move to find a bottle of water or something. Or a river. Some sort of damp nook that you can suck on. Oh, I think I see a stick. Let's go pick up the stick. <gasps> look at that. Okay. So we can make clothing if we look at the little bit of the HUD at the bottom right there. It may be a lovely coconut. Off a palm tree. It looked like, looked like we did get one. Coconut. You can drink this coconut or roast over a fire. I can also use it for further processing. But well, I'm just going to munch on it right now. Didn't really do much, did it? So what's the point of this game, then? I think this is it. I think this is this is the point. I think you just wander around and that's it. Oh, look at that wine. Hooray. What are these mystery items? Bark from a tree. Oh, I see. It's just a question mark because it's placeholder. Okay. Fair enough. See, that's the kind of early access thing I understand and can appreciate. Alright, you don't have all the art assets in just yet. 
Art can be an expensive thing, one of the more expensive things of game development, um, at least at an indie level, from what I've been told by developers. You know, finding good artists to design your characters and your models and your environments and all that. So I understand early access games needing placeholder art like that. I don't understand it when they have, like, no content at all. This game has some content. You can pick up and eat a coconut, which is more than some early access games do. I'm going to eat this shell. Apparently you can do that in this game. There we are. Just just picking things up again. It's a little boring. One has to admit. Shall we swim to the little island? Shall we do that? Let's swim to the little island and see if there's anything there. Oh my god, that tree was... That was a ghost tree. Water looks nice. Not a lot of games bother to make the water clear, you know. Oh, is that a stamina meter? You all know how I love those too. Okay, here's the island. What I want to do is... Just create the shortest amount of swimming for myself as possible. Might be a little bit of a breath of the wild hold over that where you want to make sure you're not in that water for that long. Here we go. That's a good stamina meter, that. Certain other games, you wouldn't even be able to dream of getting across there without several upgrades. That's cool. So let's go. Got some more bark, got another coconut. So that's the thing, in, in other games, it would also, in perfect fairness, be worth getting across that water, because there might be something cool on the island. But on this island, it just appears to be more. That seems to be what this game does in general so far. Everything is just more of what you did. And what you did was not much. But there's another shell we can eat without breaking our teeth. Let's go. No, 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 get up there. I don't need to go deep sea diving. Or do I? Maybe there's a fish. What the hell? Get up. Up. Oh. Okay, there we are. It just sinks itself. They... What was that all about? That was weird. I was just swimming along and twice just like suddenly made out of lead. Just sunk to the bottom. I was going to actually like seriously look at some deep sea diving potential, see if there's like fish in there or something, but the moment I started sinking I immediately, as I think is the natural reaction, wanted to swim right back up to the top again. We haven't actually seen any animals at all on this island, or anything. There's a fish. Fuck it, eat all them. I'll eat that fishy and you know. all. Real fish from the uh, ocean? Real fish from the ocean. So how do I make a fucking fire anyway? <gasps> What's oh? It's just another shell. I thought that was like a. I got all excited then because I saw like from a, an angle that looked like a piece of paper or something. I was like, maybe we'll get some lore. Okay. Now, C. Nope, that crouches. How do we do ourselves some craft? Right, crafting. Survival. Tools. Refine. There we are. We can make tinder. I've made some of that. I made that and all. 
How do I make a campfire? Eight stones and eight logs. All right, well I got three stone and no log. But we can make an ax now. Let go of my hand to wear equipment, just right click it. All right. And I use this, how? Oh, you just interact with it like normal, but it just changes the interaction if you've got an ax in your hand. That, I mean, I, I don't feel like that was particularly clear, but we've worked it out. That's the main thing. How much do we need for our campfire? Eight stone, eight log, yes. Just had to remind myself. Well, there's a shitload of stones over there. That'll be the last stones we need. Okay, well, oh, down again. There we are. You don't swim so much as bounce. Yeah, it don't matter where I'm looking, what I'm pressing, I just, it's bouncy, bouncy time. Need the right tool. I mean, I guess we can make a, it won't hurt to make a pickaxe as well. We need another shaped stone, but we can make one of those by refining. Get another one of them. All right, you see? And then build, oh, right click. Now we mine for precious minerals. Or just bits of rock, you know. Mostly just bits of rock, I think. We'll have a campfire in no time. Holy shit, though, does that pickaxe degrade? What's it, a Hylian axe? Mining, here we go. We might as well go till the axe breaks. That way we'll have plenty of stones. Come here. Again, not, not particularly interesting. Blimey, our sanity is depleting now. Another potentially annoying thing is if I wanted to go right from mining this rock here, holy fuck, little boy went flying, to chopping this tree. Look at that, you see? How, how tall can we make that? Oh, it goes, it goes that high. I thought it was gonna go across the whole page. Oh well. Oh fuck, fuck. It is very dark. Okay, I need to get a, a light source together quick. Apparently, uh, if you're without a light source, that's the one thing I know about this game. Without a light source, without a campfire or something at night, you will die of your brain. Okay? I can't... I can't see, Did, uh, hopefully we picked stuff up. We need one more. We need one more log. One more log. We can do it. If I just, I'll keep hammering E. Well, okay, we got it. We got it, we can craft, 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 craft. Home, boom, build. Add fuel. Yes. Okay. What do I do with this? Aha! See, we roast these. We should build a waterproof roof. And then... The fire. Oh, no, okay, so that's just roasting away. Branch and tinder. Fuck! Fuck! I ain't got no branch and no tinder. 
Oh, this is the pit. I'm just going to have to munch these coconuts quickly just to give me something. We're losing vitality, don't you understand? Well, we don't really want to chop anything. We just want to hopefully catch things that we can use for burning. I mean, I think we're going to die. I think that's basically what's up right now. Our, our mind has fully gone after one night on an island. And I can't find the tinder required to get the fire back on. And I don't have any wine. And it's too dark to see anything anyway. And people wonder people wonder what my big deal with survival games is. Because I see enough shit like this. Pff, whatever. I mean, I'm not even going to bother trying now. <sighs> Just let that run out on me. Having a look at the game's community hub. <laughs> well, the ending was worth it. 